Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. I was very kindly sent this new release from a company called Insight Editions and this is their new Beatles advent calendar. Uh, they sent this to me to do an early unboxing for you so I am very excited to take a look at everything that is in here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the calendar. You can see it looks like the Sgt. Pepper drum. And on the front says Collector's Advent Calendar. And there's a little description on the back. It says, This special advent calendar is filled with 24 days of exclusive premium collectibles unavailable anywhere else. From Sgt. Pepper salt and pepper shakers to a whimsical Pepperland egg cup, each gift will be treasured by fans of the Fab Four. So I will say that on the bottom of this outer packaging, it does list everything that is in here. So if you are giving this as a gift to somebody, make sure you take off that outer packaging. You don't want to spoil it for them. So let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic. All right, so this is um, with the packaging off of it. That's the plastic. And then on the bottom of this little um, card thing was everything that is in the calendar. So obviously you want to take that off before you give it as a present if you're doing that. So then this is what it is like out of the packaging and let's go ahead and open this up all right so you can see there is a little box for every day of december including a couple cards for a few of the days so we are going to go one by one and see what's in here i like the extra touch of the beetles wrapping paper on me all right, so here is day number one. This is very nice for a holiday calendar. It is, of course, a Christmas ornament. And it is an apple with some headphones on. I like that. This is a very heavy ornament, so be sure to put this on a very sturdy branch on your tree. And you can see as well, once you take the box out, it has the number still on the bottom of the actual drum there, so you know where to, where to put it back if you choose to do that. So day two, it looks like, is over here on this side, and it has these little tabs to help you pull the box out. So for day two, we have this little mini notebook. It looks like a Beatles ticket stub, you can see. And it has a bunch of blank pages in it. I think this would be good to put on your desk at work, just like an alternative to post-it notes. I think I'll do that with mine. So here's day three. This is that a big one here in the middle. Let's take this out. All right, so this is day three. Um, according to the box, it says it's a tea towel. And I actually have a shirt with this exact uh, design on it. It's, it's just the shirt is white and not yellow and has their 1964 American tour dates on it. I think this would be cool to put on the wall too if you didn't want to use it as the tea towel. So day four is one of these cards here. So let's take a look at what's inside. So this is nice for day four. We have this Beatles Christmas card. It looks like one of their Christmas records for their fan club. And on the inside, it's blank, so you could write a Christmas message. Here's day five, one of these little boxes up here. So for day five, we have an accessory here. This is a John Lennon pin. And I have a feeling there will be a set of four in here. Now I am putting these all back as I as I open them just so all the boxes don't start falling all over the place. Um, but again, it does show you where all the numbers go. So for day six, this is one of the things it mentioned on the box. This is the Sgt. Pepper Pepper Shaker. So I have a feeling if there's a pepper shaker in here, there's gotta be a salt shaker too. And indeed, here it is for day seven. This is a Beatles salt shaker. Mm -hmm. 
day eight this is an apple bottle opener i like with these advent calendars a lot of these things are useful items too as opposed to just decorations Day nine, we have the next in our pin set here, which I figure <laughs> there would be a sub for. This is the Paul pin. For day 10, we have this Abbey Road bookmark. Obviously, you just clip it onto the back of the page and the picture will stick out. For day 11, we have a couple of vinyl stickers here. One is the Beatles themselves and the other just says the Beatles. All right, so halfway through here, we are on day 12 and this is a set of socks that say Beatles for sale. I don't have anything like these, so I'm happy to have these, especially because we're in fall now and Beatles for Sale is a great fall album, I think. So continuing on in our pin set here for day 12, here is George. And I like that these are white album pins. I actually don't have a lot of white album uh, merchandise. I think these would look really good on like a black jean jacket. For day 14, this is a set of Beatles pencils. I'm going to take all these out of the box so you can see what's on them. I think for the George pen, I accidentally said uh, day 12. That was day 13. So we're on 14 now. It has all song titles on the packaging. So you can see there's the name of a song on each of them. P.S. I Love You, Paperback Writer, Hello Goodbye, and Dear Prudence. And uh, one thing to note, these are like, it appears double-sided pencils. They don't actually have an eraser on them. Maybe there will be an eraser in the, in the box. We'll see. So day 15 was another envelope. So we have a set of postcards here. And there is a place to write an address and put a stamp on the back of each one. On day 16, we have this Abbey Road keychain and this is very shiny as you can see. I actually have a video um, towards the beginning of my channel. I talked about when I visited Abbey Road, um, not the studio itself, but the crossing and all of that. If you want to see that, you could check that out. And for day 17, we have the last of our set of pins here. Here is Ringo. Day 18, I am very happy about this one. This is a rubber sole patch, and this is going to go great on my jean jacket. I already have some Beatles patches on the back, but not many on the front, so that's where I'll put this one. And I've mentioned many times on my channel, Rubber Soul is my favorite Beatles album, so this is a great addition to my other patches. So day 19 is what looks like um, is meant to go with that pencil set from earlier. This is a very cute little yellow submarine eraser. And I, d I don't know if I would use this as an eraser. It's too cute. I don't want to want to wreck it, but I'd probably put it on my desk. All right, for day 20, I am glad to see we have another patch here. This is just a Beatles logo patch. I actually don't have one like this, so I will put this one on the front of my jacket too. Day 
day 21, we actually have another pin here. This is a little green Apple, Apple Records pin. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you know I have a little green apple next to my, my name on my page. So this could also be in a beautiful life pin too. All right, so we're on day 22. We're getting getting very near the end, should I say. Um, this is a little Sgt. Pepper magnet with the album cover on it. day 23 we have another ornament here this is an abbey road one my tree has so many beetles or is going to have so many beetles ornaments i'll have to do an updated uh beetles ornament video i like the blue color of this all right so we are up to the final box here day 24 all right day 24 here we have our pepperland egg cup so i was actually thinking this would be good since i usually do um, Beatles themed Easter eggs around that time. This would be like a cute picture to to put one on the egg cup. Um, this would be good too, just to have in the kitchen, like next to the salt and pepper shakers, for instance, that were in here. Very whimsical looking. All right, so that is all the boxes put back in place here. Um, I will close that up in a second. I just want to show you now that we uh, looked at everything. This is what was on the bottom of the, the box. Um, so again, you'll want to take this off if you're giving this as a present. So you could see we had a mix of both uh, decorative stuff in here and useful things too. I would say maybe my favorite was the rubber sole patch, but it, I do like the ornaments too. It's always nice to have some new uh, Beatles ornaments because I, I love Christmas. So um, my tree is going to have lots of Beatles ornaments on it. All right, Beetle people, that is going to do it for today's video. So I want to say thank you very much to Insight Editions who sent me this calendar. I really appreciate that. And it was very fun to take a look at this. Um, and I will put a link in the description to buy this as well. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, my social media will be linked below too if you want to check those out. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.